Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due <clears throat> to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that push this word in truth and in sincerity, to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I am the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago and um, <clears throat> just something real quick. Um, through the spirit, um, once again, going through uh, TikTok lives to hear these um, bugged out doctrines, something uh, we used to do here in Great Millstone, Chicago, we used to uh, play a game called the scoff games, where, you know, we'll pretend to be like these wacky tacky Christians, you know, we'll be like, Oh, no, the Bible says God so loved the world. He loves everybody. And, you know, we'll try to, you know, one person will play the scoffer or a couple of people will play the scoffers and the younger brothers will have to defend the gospel. You know, so it's it's literally like uh, when I go on TikTok live and, uh, you know, just scroll through the, the lives and hear some of these bug outs. It's literally like the scoff games in real life, like live fire action. You know, and it's like, well, damn, we 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 went we went through all of these scoffs. You know, we 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 dealt with all these scoffs. So, when these scoffs come up, or these false doctrines, or these uh, scriptures with with these people bringing out scriptures with no understanding, we know how to defend the gospel. All right, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, um, you know, one thing I heard somebody say, they were like, it doesn't matter what he looks like. It doesn't matter his skin color. You know, he could be, uh, he said like some, like some stupid color. He could be, uh, orange for all I care. You know, he was from the Middle East. So he was, he was, he was, he said that he, uh, he, uh, um, was more than likely, uh, dark skin, but that doesn't matter. Skin color doesn't matter. <clears throat> but um well as far as being the, the description of the son of god it does matter because it's written in the scriptures all right uh so it does matter as far as today of uh, who the israelites are no then color doesn't matter because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth so we're going to look like everybody we're going to be different shades of brown and we're gonna have uh israelites who look like esau edom but their forefather goes back to the israelites so you know um as far as the doctrine goes concerning his son it does matter okay this is uh john 7 and 38 it reads he that believeth on me as the scriptures hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water okay so if you believe in god if you believe in his son you have to as the scripture hath said not it doesn't matter no it actually does matter because for the most part when people close their their eyes and they pray to god who, who are they thinking they're praying to they're gonna be you know what let's just do it i'm gonna just type in god because this is what the world's been indoctrinated with. Look at that. That's not, all right, uh, as the scriptures have said, that's God. Okay. And then you got the so-called son, right? <laughs> they got Donald Trump. They got the so-called son right here. That's not according to the scriptures. Okay. So it does matter because when you, in your thoughts, this is what you're, that, this is what you're picturing. He looks like, and the scripture says he was a dark skinned man with a white woolly hair, like Negro's hair. All right. This is a uh, St. John four and 24. God is a spirit and they that worship him must 
worship him in spirit and in truth. OK, so you have to worship him in spirit and in truth. And what is the truth? What the scriptures say? OK, this the scriptures is a, a spirit, you know, um, let me look that up for you. Let's look it up. It says these words are. Oops. Just roughly paraphrasing it, you know, let Google do its job. Okay, John, St. John 6 and 63 says, It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, <laughs> all right, and they are life. So the, 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 um, the, the spirit, you know how people say the Holy Spirit, they try to tie that in with the um, the Trinity and the Godhead and God is three in one, the spirit, the son and the father. No, the spirit is just having the understanding of the scriptures. That's what quickeneth, meaning it brings you alive. OK, because um, I believe it's in Proverbs or in Ecclesiastes. It says what it says. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding remaineth in the congregation of the dead. So all these people who don't understand the scriptures, all right, um, in truth and in spirit, you know, they they are spiritually dead. All right. When you read Ezekiel 37, um, Ezekiel seen the valley of the dry bones, which represented the Israelites being in a uh, uh, which they were alive. OK, because the sinews joined together, you know, but they didn't have the spirit. They didn't have the understanding. They didn't have the truth. OK. And when they did, they were they were brought to life. OK, just as in uh, Revelations 11, the dead bodies lying in the streets of the great city. All right. But that was us being in the dead state, not knowing who we were spiritually dead. And the scriptures, OK, the understanding of them. All right. It's what's quickening, quickeneth us. It brings us to life. All right. So. Um, I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right. So that's having the Holy Spirit, the understanding. Going back to John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that's having the understanding that. It does matter because if it if it didn't, why would God mention it in the Bible? All right. Why would his this what he looked like be mentioned? Not only what God and his son looked like, what his the, the children of Israel look like. OK. All right. He left those all in the scriptures for a reason. It's the things written aforetime were written for our learning. OK. Back to John 4 and 24. God is a spirit. All right. Which, um, you know, he he's uh, outside of this this realm, you know, he's um, he's a spirit. But, um, you know, when Daniel saw him, you know, he was sitting on the throne and uh, he uh, called him the ancient of days. And he uh, described his hair as well as being white and woolly. It says, and they that worship me must worship him in spirit and in truth. So you have to go according to what the scriptures have said. All right. And it does matter. OK, because if you don't do that, then you're going to believe this lie. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? And the main judge being the heavenly father. All right. His son and the rest of the judges, the Israelites. OK. And if you don't believe according to the scripture, as said, this is what you're going to fall for. This lie. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. With that, with that, how willing this was edifying to next time. Shalom.